those deer, when those deer are getting in here closer to the blind in good shooting range, boy, they're awful nervous. Of course, we've got those windows open and any kind of movement in there, yeah, they know something's just not right. So I'm gonna put some, uh, some Maniac 150 out to hopefully settle their nerves. I'm <laughs> When we left the house, we've been on the road for a while. When we left the house, I had a whole box of it. I had 12, 12 of these, and I'm down to my last one. So what I, you know, what I always do, and you should do this too, is my rag. I just take my rag with me, and this thing is is well saturated, and uh, and the odor, you know, is never going to leave that between me and you. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to put this, lay this right here like this, an already saturated rag. And get my last bottle, my last bottle of the 150. I didn't want to do that. I guarantee you, I got it wrong. Just put a few drops on that, and that'll just activate <laughs> activate that. And that baby, I'm gonna put this back in here. I'm I'm, uh, I'm going to use it not as freely as I normally do since it's, it's my last bottle. I feel like we have a pretty good routine going whenever we're bow hunting. We put out some Maniac 150, always. We put up spy point trail cameras, always. And where legal, we put out deer attractant and we put out some corn. The whole idea is to try to give yourself a better chance to shoot a nice buck. I'm at a trout fishing show in Casper, Wyoming 15 years ago. They wanted me to come, so I did. Put my booth up. A lady come by, and she goes, what's that? I said, well, that's Maniac 150. What's that? And I explained what we have. She said, you put all this stuff out every time you deer hunt? I said, yeah. She said, well, the deer don't even have a chance. I said, lady, you ever deer hunt in South Texas? She said, I've never deer hunted anywhere. I said, if they didn't cut some arrows and then plant something there to bring the deer in, if we didn't put out all these attractants, you'd never kill one. I was losing that argument, all right? So I said, you trout fish? She goes, well, that's why I'm here. I said, what do you use for bait? She goes, oh, I have a little fly. I said, does that have a hook on it? She goes, yeah. I said, take the hook off and see how many fish you catch. She didn't think that was very funny. But I'm gonna tell you, as a bow hunter, you're sitting out there in that blind and those bucks start coming out of the brush and moving in towards you. Man, I tell you, it's exciting. Unless you're a bow hunter and that's happened to you, you can't tell anybody what that feels like. And it's not good. You ever wonder sometimes why you miss? 
This shot with that no cam was right on the money. But this buck was a little spooky and he just drops from the shot. The arrow goes right over his back. You know, we showed that footage to Jason Mintz. Jason said, man, that buck is at least six, seven years old. Never seen him, don't have a single trail camera picture of him. Don't know where he come from. He said, Roger, you know, odds are you're never gonna see that deer again. I said, yeah, maybe. But then, maybe not. South Texas whitetail buck is supposed to be. That's what this is. A big, beautiful, perfect. Tim, he couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> well, that time maybe a little. No, he's perfect. <laughs> Jim, the Christmas. What a deer. Boy, the Matthews, no cam, and the muzzy combination did a job on really, in many instances, buck of a lifetime. Folks, I'm gonna tell you right here from South Texas and the Freeholia Ranch. I had a pretty good day. God bless you. I'm glad you were here to enjoy it with me. Praise the Lord, what a deer. Oh my Lord, what a buck. <laughs> <laughs>